Hello, thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna present a simple tutorial on convolutional autoencoders applied to the problem of image denoising. The images that I'm gonna use are taken from the MNIST dataset and I'm gonna impart random noise to them so that the convolutional autoencoder would learn to go from the noisy images to the denoised version of the images. Let's get started. Okay, let's get started on this tutorial, which is going to be on coding a deep convolutional autoencoder on TensorFlow for image denoising. And we're going to do it on KRS. The autoencoders, a variant of the artificial neural networks, are applied very successfully in the image processing, especially to reconstruct the images. The image reconstruction aims at generating a new set of images similar to the original input images. This helps obtain the noise-free or complete images if a set of noisy or incomplete images are supplied respectively. Convolutional autoencoders, on the other hand, learn to map the input to the output through learning the optimal filters that extract the appropriate features as opposed to a fully connected autoencoder, which totally ignores the spatial pattern of the input image. Convolutional autoencoders are comprised of two main parts, namely encoder and decoder, as shown in this image. As you can see, the image first gets compressed when it goes through an encoder, and then it gets decompressed when it goes through the decoder. Autoencoders have been shown to be a very viable candidate in problems such as image denoising, reconstruction, and colorization. In this work, I'm going to show you guys a simple example in which a noisy set of MNIST images are denoised using the convolutional autoencoders. Here's an example of the noisy MNIST images. The convolutional Autoencoder here learns to go from the noisy input to a reconstructed denoised output. Now let's go to Python and have a look at the code and then run the code and see the results. Okay, here's the coding for the convolutional autoencoder that's going to be used in this video. And as you can see, it starts with uh, loading the MNIST images and then they're going to be normalized so they would be between 0 and 1 which would make the training uh, faster and in a more accurate way for the network and they're going to be reshaped so that so that we would be able to feed them into the network and uh, also the test and train images that we have separated here they're going to be also uh, get in some noise so that uh, we would have a noisy version of the input images and also uh, for both train and test images. So this is how uh, we are imparting noise to the images and right after that we start writing the network. The first layer is the input layer and then first layer is followed by the first convolutional layer and then max pooling and then another convolutional and then again max pooling which these five layers would be fed into the encoder and then right after encoder we have decoder so we have upsampling the first layer of encoding is the convolutional layer and then the convolutional layer is followed by upsampling and then again convolutional layer and then another upsampling and we ended with another convolutional layer with only one filter because the images of MNIST they only have one channel so we use only one filter usually the last layer sigmoid activation function works the best so this is this will be decoder so first encoder and then decoder and we wrap up the model and right after that we compile it with atom optimizer and binary cross entropy loss function right after compiling we fit the model 
we make the model learn to go from the noisy images to the denoised image so this is how we do it the system learns to go one more time the system learns to go from the noisy image to the denoised image and we have set the epoch 200 and the batch size 128 and then validation data for here I have used the same validation data as the ones that I'm using for the testing part but it would be better to just only use 10% of the data for validation and 70% for training and 20% for testing but here I'm using the same data as in my testing which doesn't matter because I'm the purpose of this video is to just teach you guys how to code the autoencoder but in the real life it would be better to s separate the testing and validation data from each other and then we predict the uh, denoised version of the testing images through feeding in the test noisy images and then we just show them one row would be the noisy images and the other row would be the uh, denoised version of the input image this is about it and it's a deep convolution on autoencoder because it has more than four layers and that's how we do it let's run and see how the results are okay as you can see this is the result that we have obtained and uh, if you look at here the the upper row shows the noisy version and the uh, the the row under it would show the the noise version of the noisy input image and as you can see the convolution autoencoder has done a pretty good job predicting the denoised version of the noisy input image and we've done it again for 100 uh, epochs uh, just as a reminder and uh, the result hasn't been bad so uh, convolution autoencoder has done a, a good job predicting the denoised version of the noisy images from MNIST uh, data set Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you were able to get something out of the video. If you liked the video, I would appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel and also share the video with your friends. Thank you so much and have a nice day.